Hey guys, just a disclaimer. Um, I'm not quite sure what went on, but it looks like my external mic was not working correctly in this ride. So I'm going to try to piece together uh, what I can. So yeah, I apologize for the audio quality not being uh, up to par, but I'll give you what I can. It's better than nothing, I guess. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Okay, so um, it wasn't uh, better than nothing. So all of the audio, it was just drowned out by uh, wind noise, pretty much. So we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna do this uh, like Johnny Go Vroom style. Johnny like shoots footage and then just kind of uh, talks over it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tax my brain and try to hit the points that I talked about during this video. First thing that came up was the holidays and my outlook on the holidays this year, which is has which has been less than um, stellar, I would say. Uh, I had to convince myself to put up a Christmas tree, and I just have not been feeling the holiday spirit very much. And uh, I don't know, is that a woe is me statement? I don't, I don't think so. It's just it's just a matter of fact. I used to be very big into the holidays, and I'm not so much anymore. So, uh, yeah, so that was my thoughts about the 2024 holiday season. Not normal for me, but, uh, you know, every year is different. Hopefully next year will be better. Uh, another thing, you notice that I am riding my Master V4. Yes, the same Master V4 that I uh, had that uh, nasty wipeout on Immokalee Road where I was lucky to not be run over by vehicles. I did put a tubeless TNT tire on that as part of the repair process with the hope that the tubeless tire would uh, be safer as it eliminates the possibility of a failure of the inner tube uh, to cause an accident, which is what happened to me. My inner tube ripped at the valve stem, uh, causing me to lose control and fall into traffic. So since I put that tubeless tire on, I've been struggling to get it seated correctly. No matter how much I, I've tweaked it, it, it always feels like there's a little bit of an of a unevenness which you can feel as like a like a thump in the tire almost. So I've deflated and reinflated and reseated, I don't know, six, seven, eight times, I don't know, a hundred times, I don't know. And I've gotten it better, like it's better on this ride, but I still feel it. And if I, the faster you go, the more prom, or, um, prominent it is and more annoying it is. So I think I got up into the 30s at one point during this ride and, and uh, it's just it's not a good feeling it's not it's not confidence inspiring when you feel a a unevenness in the tire so i'm still trying to get that worked out i talked about the uh, new wheels that that i've uh, seen lately uh, the f22 which is now the f22 pro the king song f22 pro I talked about the differences in the the uh, features that from the F22 to the F22 Pro. The original F22 was supposed to be a 151 volt wheel. Uh, it had the fast ACE suspension, which which um, made my ears perk up because I'm such a big fan of the fast ACE suspension that's on the veteran wheels. I thought that was great that they were going to use that in the F22 Pro or F22. I'm sorry. And the F22 uh, was supposed to have, I believe, a roughly 2700 and change watt hour battery in it. The F22 Pro, they have now bumped the voltage up to 176 volts. They have uh, changed the shocks from using Fast Ace. It was supposed to be, I think, Fast Ace, like two Fast Ace shocks originally, two Fast Ace shocks on opposite corners and then just sliders in between. Let's turn this one up. Then. Okay. We'll, f we'll fix this later. <laughs> but anyways, with the F22 Pro, they have now switched to using four DNM air shocks. Not an oil-based shock anymore, but air shocks, which uh, didn't excite me that much because I do pref prefer an oil-based shock, a hydraulic shock, but... Uh, that's what they went with with the F22 Pro. Uh, I heard some people, some early testers say it feels great, so I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess real-world testing will reveal if that is a good decision or a not-so-good decision. 
I also spoke about the uh, Bagode X-Way. Marty just reviewed it, or not reviewed it, Marty just unboxed it. And um, he has some uh, positive things to say about the fit and finish, which is a big contrast to Wrong Way. Wrong Way got a pre-production X-Way and he basically ripped it apart on QC issues. There's, there's a lot of questionable things in there. I know Bagode has answered a lot of those questions with um, saying that it's because of pre-production and the production model, these issues that Wrong Way was pointing out uh, do not exist. So uh, I don't know who you want to believe there. <coughs> but Marty has an initial positive things to say about the X-Way. Um, I also was commenting on the the X-Way basically sort of pushing the blitz out of the way because the X-Way seems very blitz-like, except it has a up to 168 volt powertrain. It is heavier than a blitz, so it, it does not have the light weight that a blitz has, but in many ways it seems like a better blitz. So it, it's, it's another case of Gotway slash Bagode making their own wheels obsolete based on their extremely fast uh, rollout schedule of new wheels. So I don't know. I guess it works for them. They've been doing it for years. I guess it works for them so they continue to run their business that way. To me, it, I don't know. To me, it's a little its a little crazy. Finally, I talked about the Bigode Panther. I saw Alien Rides did a, a short live stream. I, I saw it on Facebook where uh, they unboxed the Bigode Panther. Now, I'm not sure why it's called the Panther as opposed to just another iteration on the Master Pro because that's what it seems like it is. It's a 22-inch wheel, like a Master Pro. It has a 4,400 watt-hour battery, which is actually a smaller battery than the existing Master Pros, but it's a 168-volt powertrain as opposed to 134. So, uh, it's heavy like most Master Pros. It's 118 pounds, I believe, is the weight that Kevin from Alien Rides mentioned. Uh, it supposedly has a 100 and, uh, 180 no-load lift test speed, 180 kilometers an hour no-load lift test number, which is crazy high. So this wheel <coughs> uh, looks like it's going to have a very, very high top speed. And it's just a matter of how much range you're going to get out of that configuration. 168 volts with a 4,400 watt hour battery. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what kind of real world range that translates into. As far as visuals of this wheel, it's interesting. Um, I thought that it kind of looked like a combination of a Master Pro, Blitz, and ET Max kind of all mutated into one wheel. That's, that was the impression that I got of that wheel. Which is not a bad thing, which is not a bad thing. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that wheel is received, how it holds up in testing. And I have no idea what the price of it is. I'm guessing uh, probably $4,000 range, which is the, the going rate nowadays. But um, yeah, it looks like an interesting wheel. Okay, so that's okay. So that is my, my Cliff Notes version of this ride. Enjoy the outro if you can hear it. Sorry again about the audio quality. All right, I'm feeling like a, a rolling outro tonight, or today. So if you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, if you're not yet a subscriber, or if you are a subscriber, you can also be notified of all new content, live streams, all that kind of fun stuff by hitting the notify bell over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Huge thanks to my channel members. Uh, right here is my current list of channel members. I appreciate your support. Uh, happy holidays to each and every one of you. And finally, if you stay till the end of the video, I appreciate the hell out of you. But not a lot of people do. So if you did, if you want to let me know that you watched till the very end, um, let's see. Put in the comments, hashtag holiday. Why not, I guess, simple enough.
Hashtag holiday. I will know that you watch till the end of the video. If you do that. And thank you in advance for doing that. So, I hope you have a great weekend. Right now it is Saturday afternoon. If I did mention that. And, um, yeah. Hope the rest of your weekend is great. And until next time, tough man out. And I might do a random pop-up live stream tomorrow, maybe. Which would be Sunday. We'll see. Maybe. Thank <laughs> you.